What's up guys, this is Andrew. I'm back with another video. So today I want to talk about a new partnership that Ripple got. But before we get started, uh, we have another giveaway. So in this giveaway, it's something different. It's a Nano Ledger. It's the basically a cold storage USB drive. I will be doing a review on it uh, in the next week or so. I just got actually uh, ordered some, so they will be coming in. Stay tuned for that. However, for this giveaway, so we're going to do two Nano Ledgers. Uh, the first one, as soon as we hit 7,500 subscribers, I'll do one Nano Ledger giveaway. And then as soon as we hit 10K, I'll do another Nano Ledger giveaway. And then all you have to do is be subscribed and share this video. So those are the two things you guys have to do. Be subscribed and share this video. And you guys will be automatically entered to win a free Nano Ledger S. Uh, so let's get started. Today's topic is Ripple and how it partnered with a new company or the ninth largest bank. It was Santander. Santander Bank is a subsidiary of a bigger group, Santander Group, which is based out of Spain. So they are actually the ninth largest financial institution in the world by revenue. And they are now trying to basically develop this app, which is going live in the first quarter. So it's already in development. They're just testing it. And they are releasing this app that will go into effect in four countries. You have Spain, Brazil, Poland, and UK. So the, those are Santander's one of the like, biggest markets and they're releasing the app and the app basically, you can transfer money, you could uh, store the money in a wallet and have a personal financial advisor that will help you basically use that money or, or transfer money to another person. It's just like a, a PNC app or a Wells Fargo app that you guys might have that you guys transfer money to a friend or, or uh, transfer money overseas. However, right now, the money transferring service takes three to five business days. So that's a long time for somebody to wait for money in another country, basically cross-border payments. And where they're rolling this app out, it takes 40 seconds to send money from here to wherever you want to go. So right now, I'm located in the United States. I can transfer money to Australia 40 seconds. There's no more three to five business days anymore. So these guys are the first to do it and they are bringing it out on, on a live platform for all their 14 million customers. Again, this this group is a multi-billion dollar group and they are basically the first ones coming out and saying, you know, we basically tested this for the last 18 months and they tested, you know, anywhere from $14 to $14,000. That, that was their range and they were sending payments across testing this and they are now out of pilot mode and they are going live. So this is huge news for Ripple and the reason I say that uh, in the title it's lighting a fuse is because this is like I said ninth largest financial uh, group and they are basically using this as a live project and customers can now send money in 40 seconds to anybody they want to. So if you guys think about it, it's like the Amazon model where Amazon back in the day was just like everybody else sending out packages. It takes three to five business days. Think fast forward now to 2018 where Amazon can get you a package in 40 minutes, 45 minutes. It does free two days and it does Amazon Prime delivery where somebody brings you a package in 45 minutes, which is huge from you know the three to five business days that they were taking before. Just like that, this bank is now letting people transfer money in 40 seconds instead of three to five days. Now, why that's important is because customers will start liking that you know fast transaction times. Customers will start getting used to the fastness and if they go to another bank, they're, they're just gonna be like, oh, I'm used to so much better service and let me state that it will be cheaper because whatever uh, transfer system they use now is not as efficient and as cheap as Ripple. So the customers are gonna get that benefit of whatever the savings will be and it's gonna be a better service. So this bank will basically start offering the service and other people will be like, why don't I just move to that bank where I can get better service and have all these amenities where, you know, as my bank is slower. So that's where I, where I mean, you know, it's lighting the fuse as it's starting to let customers know that we have this new technology, we're helping you use it, we're also giving it to you for a lot cheaper, come over to us. And that's how they're going to gain more customers and it's going to help the bank as well as Ripple the company and the investors that invest into XRP, the cryptocurrency token. In addition to testing out um, the payments for cross-border transactions, they also integrated Apple Pay into the app. 
which also works now with the app that they're releasing. The reason I say uh, or I mention Apple Pay is because they are not just going to integrate you know, software into their app if they do not have plans on using it for further extent. So when I say further extent, think about your, your debit card. You use it for groceries, you use it for gas. Anything you know that you guys want to use it for, you use it. So once they start rolling out this application for people to do cross-border transactions or sending uh, money to your friends, now with Apple Pay integrated, you guys could say, hey, I'm going to use my Santander Visa or Santander bank debit card to pay for gas. So what, what is going to be the transactions behind it? They're going to start using Ripple. So the Apple Pay will be basically your, your Santander bank card and you will just scan your uh, card at the gas station and the actual transaction of money that occurs behind it will be the technology and of Ripple XRP. So that's why I wanted to mention that as well that they, they are the one that mentioned that we integrated Apple Pay and they wouldn't mention that if there was not a real reason that they would use Apple Pay down the line. So that's one of the things. So why do I say that you know this is the fuse that is going to light Ripple up and basically all the other banks will start taking over and start using Ripple? So let's basically to give you uh, another example, let's think about there's a business A, B, C and D. So business A sells shoes, business B, C and D sells shoes as well. Same brand, you know, same same cost, everything. So say, say they sell shoes for $39.99 and they could ship it to you uh, in three business days. Basically, business A found a way to get that price of the shoe to $30 instead of $39.99, $40. And they also found a way to get that shoe to you in one minute. Again, kind of like uh, going back to the Amazon example. So more customers will start purchasing shoe from uh, business A. First of all, the customers are already at business A will be like, wow, this is great. The news is gonna start spreading. So second, other customers from business B, C, and D will be like, hey, this base platform, this company is offering a better value, a better service, and a, at a better rate and a better time. So why would I stick with my current business or current shop, why don't I go over here? slowly people are going to start going to business a business b c and d will see a decline in customers and they will be like hey we need to reevaluate re what we're doing and how we can bring our costs down to compete with uh a so b c and d will start looking at what a will do and a is currently accepting ripple and that's the reason that they are at a lower cost and they could do all these things so b c and d have no other choice but to either compete or go out of business. So in time, what they're going to do is they're going to compete. And the way to do that is to get basically sign up with a company such as Ripple. So slowly, more and more companies are going to start signing up with Ripple, which in turn is going to boost the price up and let go of the price of right now. I know that um, there's a lot of market manipulation going on and you know, the price is crashing, the entire crypto market is crashing, it's going to recover, L leave it, leave it for right now. And think about the long term, six months, seven months, eight months down the road, these companies will start looking at, you know, uh, American Express or, or Santander Bank and saying, hey, we need to jump in and you know we need to use this too. So we can compete with these people that are offering, you know, way better times at way cheaper cost. So all these companies will start teaming on and saying, we're going to pilot test it. We're going to pilot test it. Uh, we're ready to use it in real life. So once all these companies start adding on to Ripple, that's when the price will start spiking into, you know, to a next level, basically. So let go of the price, uh, what it is right now. If it, it's at a low, so I would advise to buy again, I'm, I'm not a, a financial advisor. This is basically just news I'm collecting and sharing with you guys. So you guys have to do your own research, but this is my opinion and this is what I think. Again, so I'm not a, a financial advisor to advise you guys, but my, my opinion is right now is a good time to buy when it's low with all these competitions coming and all these banks coming in saying, you know, we'll take it, the price has to rise and it will rise, you know, down the road. So right now, if you guys bought in at a, a higher rate, just sit still, hold. If you guys are looking to purchase, this is a great time to purchase when it's low. As you guys can see, companies are starting to get in line and start using the service. So the more companies that uh, use 
a certain vendor, the price of that vendor goes up. So that's basically what's going to happen with Ripple down the road. I just wanted to basically give you guys that information about uh, the first live uh, scenario that uh, is going to happen with Ripple and in, in collaboration with Santander Bank and their apps. So that's all I have for you guys today. Again, uh, if you guys like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And for those two giveaways, if you guys share this video and subscribe to the channel, you guys will be automatically entered to win two Nano Ledgers. So two different people will win. One person will win at 7,500, we'll do a drawing, and one person will win at 10,000 subscribers. That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, please share. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.